Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to set up my bottom rig for fishing these power bait. You're going to need number eight hooks, a barrel swivel, beads, a three eighth ounce weight, and eight pound mono line. The first step is to put your weight onto your main line. The next step is you want to slide your bead onto the main line after the swivel. Now tie the main line to your swivel, the line with the bead and the uh, weight. Now your main line is attached to the swivel and your bead and weight is going to slide back and forth and clip off the tag end to your knot. The next step is you want to take your leader line, the eight pound mono that I use, and we're going to attach to the other end of the swivel. For the knot that I use, it's the same old uni knot. And when you're done, make sure you clip off the tag in. Now take your hook and you tie it to the end of your leader. And for this knot, I used a uni knot as well. And again, clip off the tag end. And then there is your Carolina rig. Uh, the length from the hook to the swivel is about 12 to 14 inches. This rig is very effective in catching trout from the rivers or ponds or lakes. To put on a power bait to your hook, it's pretty easy. I just take two eggs and I hook it on slightly to the outside rather than through the center. And just make sure the point of the hook is slightly exposed so that way you can get a good hook set. All right, so that's it right there. The basic idea behind this rig is to let the bait float off the ground so that way it's in a strike zone. So let's talk about power bait. Now, power bait is very effective in catching trout. Um, they just work really good. Um, you can, you know, use these in lakes and ponds and rivers. Um, they, they just work. And as you can see, I got many different colors and many different style. Um, the one I have the most of is the power bait eggs. Um, I just like them because they stay on the hook for a long time and um, they're very durable and they're easy to bait up um, they're very clean you don't get your hands messy and i also have the uh, power bait dough right here um, i've never you really used these much but they do work very well lots of people catch fish on them i also have the power bait mice tails and the power bait trout worm everything in here that you see is going to work um, lots of people ask me, you know, what is the best color to use? You know, which color does trout prefer? To be honest, um, it really depends on the circumstance. Sometimes they like a certain color. Um, some on, on certain days, they prefer another color. You really can't tell. My advice is to carry, you know, a different variety of uh, colors with you. Um, when I'm going trout fishing, I usually carry about uh, four or five different colors, okay? So that way I can kind of test out which ones work the best. And that's the key to it. It just carry different um, variety and different colors with you at all times. One other thing I like to use is uh, this power honey worm. Um, I just tip it along with the power bait eggs. If I'm using two of these, I just tip it and with um, one power worm. And that seems to be really effective.
These power worms come in, I think, three different color, maybe four. I'm not sure. Um, this one um, is uh, yellow, and I have some red ones here. They also have a white one, okay? But most of the time, I definitely prefer the yellow color worm. They just work the best. That was pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. I used to laugh at my dad. Yeah, just wait till you're looking all over your damn house and you can't figure it out. <laughs> you sit down and you're sitting there looking at shit trying to find your damn glasses and you're wearing them. I've done that a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> sitting there. And you don't notice it until you do this when you're trying to find them. You adjust them and it's like... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I got one. I got oh, one. Holy cow, man, right off the bat. You know how many places we've been to? How many different types of lures we tried and bait? And I got this little guy. Hey. <laughs> Good. If I can land him, I am not skunked. Hey, got me a trout. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, buddy. That's on a circle hook, too. Okay, guys. First trout of the day right here. Oh, it swallowed it, too. Yeah, he took it really deep. What color are you using? I'm using uh, lemon lime, and oh. I tipped it with the uh, grub. Oh, there you go. Not, yeah, the uh, honey worm. There it is, guys. First fish. Nice-looking rainbow trout. Oh, I got him. I got him. Second fish, back to back. There we go. There we go, guys. Uh, I'm not kidding. We have been all over this river. And we came back to this spot where we first started using green lime power bait. They seem to like that. Yeah. There it is. Nice looking fish right there. About the same size. Yeah. Don't have a net. Oh, bigger. He's a bigger one. There we go. Yeah. Oh, he he swallowed that pretty deep. That's an awesome looking rainbow trout. Beautiful fish. There it is. The uh, lemon lime power bait. Took it right down to the gullet. <laughs> oh, was that a bite? Was that a bite? Nope. Well, what the hell did I do with my limo? Yeah, you can use mine. Here you go, just use mine and uh oh. Here it is. Oh. Ooh, I got a bite. Got a bite. Got a bite over here. Is that a bite? Is that a bite? Yeah, that's a bite. There it is. Is he on? I'm gonna let him take it this time. Take it, take it. One more tag, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. One more tag. Oh, I think he's off. Is he still on there? Oh, he's still on there. Yeah, I got him. Got him. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, man. Boy, this power bait works really good. Boy, that reel doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a little rough. All right. Catching trout in the Mackenzie River.
power bait. No, that's a little guy. There we go. Not bad. Yep, he's a keeper. Why not? That is dinner. That's my dinner. There we go. Awesome looking fish. should do is gut one of those and see what the hell they're eating. I'll bet they're just full of snails. Maybe. Go for it. <laughs> Ooh, there's a tug. There's a tug. There's a tug. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I got him. I saw him. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> still in here. That's one of those where do I set it or don't I? <laughs> yeah. I was upset with the last one that came off. So I made sure this guy is on. Uh, I switched power bait to... Um, Orange? It's, yeah, it's a rainbow. Um, I still have the, the honey worm on there. Yeah, good size. Good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Number four. Good fish. God dang it. Here it is, guys. Fish number four. Let me throw it in your box. All right. <laughs> Their bellies are fat from all the, oh, yeah. all the snails. snails. Holy moly. Yes, finally some action. Get him? Yep. Nice. He's a fighter too. Nice. Fish on Flynn. They seem to like any power bait we give them. <laughs> yep. Doesn't really matter. I guess the trick is have variety, not just one color. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah. Okay guys, there's my rig. I set up a, I set up a Carolina rig. Um, bead swivel. Sorry, not bead. Okay guys, there's my setup. I have a weight and a swivel. Um, you can put a beat between the weight and the swivel, but I didn't do that. It doesn't really matter really to me. And about probably 14 inches, eight pound test leader. Um, my power bait, uh, number, uh, I believe that's a number six octopus hook, uh, octopus circle hook, um, two power bait eggs, and I tipped it with a honey worm. Okay, that has been the uh, hot ticket for today. We're fishing in the Mackenzie River. It's going to cast it up there, up the current, and it's going to bounce along um, down current. And I'm going to let it sit about 30 to 40 feet behind the boat.
Find a, found a new hole. Maybe. I guess it's about the same distance, though, isn't it? Yeah, about the same. There it is. There's a tug. I'm just gonna let him take it. I'm not gonna set the hook yet. That's the easy way to do it. Yep. See it right there. Right there. Slip sinker. Yeah. And it had run and it had people fishing real close to each other. Yeah. Alright guys, this is my last fish. Oh yeah. Not a bad fish. Kinsey River trout. Hook oh, was on the outside. Yep, other side, other side. You're good. Don't come off it, well, he took it pretty deep. So there it is, awesome trout. Very, very cool looking pattern on that trout. See that? Yes. Right there. <laughs> That's your really nice rainbow. Yep, pretty cool looking rainbow. He's a stock trout because his adipose fin is clipped on the orange power bait right there. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time, tight lines.